Today we'll be partnering with CG Dream. I'll be showing their AI generation platform. It's free to use up to 1200 images. It's pretty cool. Let me show you. Oh, I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. As creators, we seek tools that offer more control and flexibility. We're going to talk about one of those tools today, and it's fairly easy to use. CG Dream is a platform in which we can turn text prompts, existing images, and 3D models into detailed AI generations easily. Now, it's not full-blown stable fusion, comfy UI, local install on your computer. This is an easier solution. So let me show you what, what it's all about. Let's start with a simple text to image generation. For example, input a short prompt like a gorgeous environment. That looks pretty accurate, almost as if it was shot with a camera. Let's use some filters to this image and see what happens. Let's add the, the landscape enhancer. We use DreamUp to enhance this prompt, creating a richer, more detailed image. And so we'll use it for this generation. And here is the result. The enhancement looks pretty cool from a picture almost taken with a camera. Now we're moving on to a fantasy story type of land. Let's upscale one image by clicking the X2 button. As you can see here, the upscale version is more clear and sharp. The light looks better and it got rid of some of the blur on especially the trees here. Now you can actually see the texture of the leaves. That's, you know, it's pretty cool. Add versatile filters to see how they modify the image. Uh, let's go back to original generations, pick one of the four and add the filters. Ancient ruins, that looks cool. Fantasy land, uh, let's put them at one each. This looks quite different from the initial image, but that is because these filters change the theme of the generation, right? Well, I think it did a pretty good job with the columns and the ruins. If you take a closer look, you can see the mountains in the background with the clouds and must be added because of the fantasy art filter. Let's see what CG Gene comes up with if we try some more random filters. Let's go back to the initial image and use organic architecture. That would really give this house an organic look. Let's generate something new, say a celestial sky. So this is what it looks like without any filters or enhancements. And then we can add some random filters on it. Cosmic, space planet, one with dream up and one with filters without dream up. So here's before and after. So there are even more settings we can play around with right here, right? Uh, we can change the, the aspect ratio, number of variations, the guidance levels. And CG Dream says that this is where they enhance the simple prompts we use. The negative prompts with this, we even get more control over our generations. And that is something that uh, we really don't have in Mid Journey that much. Well, let's try the, the 3D generation too. Let's pick this 3D wooden interior design as our model. Uh, we are shown a 3D interface that we can move around and zoom in and out with the mouse. Let's say we want an aspect ratio of uh, two by three here, and we want it to make us two variations. Let's use this prompt and filter this with chair, material, marble, uh, it's the living room, futuristic house, and ivy and vines. These images are pretty good. The one on the right kept the wooden chairs part, but the other one added better lighting on the walls. Yeah. You know, fairly happy with that. But here's one cool thing where it really changes from what you do with Mid Journey. Yes, you can upload images into Mid Journey, but there's a limited amount of control that you get out of it. So here you can upload your own images and use AI to generate more images based on that image. It can be image to image or it can be 3D to image. Now the 3D functionality is a bit limited still, but uh, let's get the 3D car and upload it into CG Dream. With the mouse you can just move it around, zoom in and out, and select the angle to which we want to generate the image. So we have a prompt here, speeding futuristic car. Let's add these filters and see how CG Dream transforms our 3D rendering. Sports car and car racing and let's do one with dream up too let's try out one more thing on this one 
let's add the in painting option to add some lights here. All right, cool. Uh, so we have this, uh, so this is a 3D image. I want to show you the options right here. Let's go back to our car model and quickly add some filters on it. Sports car, car concept, luxury car maybe. Now, what I want to show you is the resemblance option right here, which is basically a denoising value scale if you know your way around um, generative AI. But it's how it's reversed. So low values alter the, the original model more, while higher values retain it. So reducing the impact of, of the prompt and the filters is a basic controls how similar the generation should be to the original model, right? So let's generate this without DreamUp. That is lowest and highest scales and compare the results. I would say that both of them looks pretty realistic, but there is a slight difference between them. Uh, the second one looks more artistic, a little bit more unrealistic, mostly because of the background, the left one. I mean, that's it's almost a photo, right? So that's pretty cool. So this is what 0 0.2 resemblance generation looks like, almost as we took this picture at a you know car retail store. I mean, it's a, it's a little 3D-esque, but I would say it's, it's pretty good. We have this little car in the background there. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. So you might have to, to uh, you know, pop that out to run a second generation or whatever. But apart from that, I was fairly happy with that. And here we have uh, with the 0.96 resemblance, and it's more like yeah, taken out of uh, you know car racing game or a 3D thing of a jig, whatever. So this option only works with the 3D image or image to image generations. So we're, when you're going from uh, one input image and you're kind of transforming that into something else, and when it's going to resemble that input, right? That's why the resemblance scale is there. So feel free to play around with it as much as you can. So for image to image generation, let's use this character I generated earlier with CG Dream. It's a Pixar style of uh, this uh, boy uh, skateboarding. And uh, let's see how the filters change our character. First, we can use the toy pop figurine filter. So we have a uh, without and with DreamUp comparison at 0.5. Kind of wish the head was a little bigger than this one. These toys are known for their square heads and small bodies, but they kind of got the eyes right. Uh, so that's nice. Okay, so let's try it at the one setting. And here we have without DreamUp to the left, with DreamUp to the right. I think they both look pretty good. Uh, we kind of missed the skateboard now, not too bad, but we did get that head uh, that I wanted. The eyes are good. Uh, we even have, uh, looks like five fingers there, so that's cool. I think they kind of look like those uh, Funko Pops, you know? So that's nice. So let's try something different. Let's pick, what's this? Ukiyo, fine-tuned one. I like the, the dream up option with this filter looks pretty good. We got the skateboard back. We even got this little character, or actually his face or whoever's face on the sweater there. That's kind of cool. What if we try something different? Let's use the balloon filter. Now let's try both at 0 0.5 and 1. So here we have it 0 0.5. But the dream up option makes the generations more accurate to the filters, but also the fine tuning makes them more evident. So make sure to play around with those when you are trying to generate something specific. And oh, the one here, <laughs> this, this looks a little bit too much uh, balloony here. Well, I mean, we asked for balloons, so I guess it did a great job. Can't fault it for asking for balloons and getting balloons, right? So this user friendly interface is great for both beginners and professionals offering features like photorealistic image generation, perspective tweaks, materials, lighting adjustments, and different artistic styles. There is a lot of control that is given to us compared to tools like Midjourney, especially for someone who just got into a generative AI. And I think this platform is a good step if you want to dip your toes into something more advanced than Midjourney, right? 
Now, like I told you previously, it is not the full-blown experience of getting 10 GPUs and installing Swarm locally and just warming your entire house with your computer as it's generating images at lightning speed, but you know, we can't all do that. This is a web solution that's easy to use, right? And the good part is you can try it out for free or you can go premium for faster and more varied results. It's a you know powerful, easy to use tool for anyone looking to get creative with their digital art. I think again, for a lot of people, start with a free plan, that's great. And they're kind of working on this uh, new feature, image to 3D, so go check that out. And with this new tool, you can take any 2D image and effortlessly turn it into a 3D model. You can tweak and rotate it to get perfect angle and then create unique 2D images from your 3D model. And you can download your creations in the super handy GLB format. So it's kind of a seamless blend of 2D and 3D and, you know, makes the creative process kind of fun. In my experience, Midjourney is easy to use. It's fun. I still use it once in a while, but it has its limitations. And that's why I use other tools 99% of the time. CG Dream is a strong alternative with a user-friendly interface for people that you want to take that first step and it gives us just enough control and flexibility we need when generating AI art. Go try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you, CG Dream, for being a partner with this video. As always, have a good one. See ya!